We're about to cross the Ambassador Bridge from Canada, about to enter the U.S. by way of Detroit. My name is Hugh Gall. <laughs> Hugh Gall, and uh, I'm the owner of the Actors Loft and Factory Productions, and also was the co-owner of Real Magic Films, which is another film company here in Michigan, specifically Detroit. The Motor City is in a struggle to rebuild itself, to regain some of its past glory. Originally, I'm from Montreal, Quebec. It's a uh, part of Canada. I came to the States, which has been now almost 20 years. I still go back home to Studied see my theater, family. out of high school. Actually, was in a, the high school senior year play, and that kind of was where I was bit by the bug, as you call it, and studied at uh, a national uh, theater school in Canada for three years, and then moved to the States. Um, but when I came here, I got introduced to the film business with uh, Brian Lawrence, who some of you might know uh, in town here, who's also a producer and writer, and I still work with him uh, in some of the films that he's Family, I have a, a wife and a, a baby daughter. We live here in Royal Oak, where the loft and the factory production office is. Um, so it's it's very convenient that we have are so close to uh, where I work and do what I do. We tell the story tonight. I want you to just read the story. We're gonna go in a, a row here. We'll just read the story out first without thinking too much about it. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a few minutes just to get ready to read it. So I'll let you read it once before you come on. I'll give you a quick break and have you read it once right now. The year was 2081 and everyone was finally... The story, and if it has illustrations in your book, you can show the illustrations. <laughs> if there's something that you want to act out in the story, by all means, you can get up and act it out a little bit. I looked upon the characters of The Rock and they were changed. And the characters were silence. A great big trout came up from the depths of the pond with a noisy splash. And, and as an artist, if you're gonna if you're gonna paint something, you want it to expression as as fully expressed as possible, right? So I need you to find the strongest story possible. You know, acting is just one small, very small part of uh, a bigger story to be told. So. We ready to do some stuff here? Talk a little bit about what we're here for. I won a free class here because I've entered a pageant and I won it. So I just went on a limb and took the class and actually really enjoyed I it. I wanted so. to try something new and uh, I wanted to challenge myself. Well, economy's not so good right now and I know this will bring more people in because there's so many people leaving Michigan that maybe it'll bring people we'll to build Michigan. building a community of people that will be able to work within the film and theater business here within the Metro Detroit area or any place. But we're really trying to develop the talent that exists in Southeast Michigan. The film industry in Michigan is definitely growing. There's a presence of the Hollywood companies that are out here. And of course, there's also the, the local industry in Michigan. Now, a lot of artists, a lot of directors and producers doing their own projects. We've got a rich history in the arts here in Detroit, uh, both theatrical as well as musical. Uh, this is just a natural progression. But the Actors Loft and some of the other acting schools in Michigan, you see the excitement. Plus I'm excited because it can bring a lot of opportunities for people. I think it's great for the state of Michigan. I think the economy in Michigan, uh, as you know, has you know, been in flux for a while, so it's going to bring some jobs into town, which is exciting. Uh, I, you know, I always have to go back that films can be made anywhere, at any place in the world. It really depends on you and the people that you surround yourself with. I wanted to get into the acting because I was stationed in California. And the thing is, when I came back home to Detroit, I looked into a few publications. I didn't want to be drawn into something that I didn't think was outrageous. So I ended up taking a couple of acting classes, and I met Hugh Gall. And I said, let's make a movie. Y'all shoot a movie? Let me be the first to welcome you to the United States of America. So we needed to get a script together. And through the writing of Brian Lawrence, who's a uh, partner as well, we said, let's uh, make a movie. And the thing is, is that it wasn't an easy test because you need funds. I'll tell you what, Jack. When you got something for me, call me. Listen, I ain't signed up for no kill. $1,000 from my own investment of three people rose to a budget of a little bit under a million, if I remember correctly. And uh, currently, which is exciting, I'm shooting a film uh, entitled She Kills, which is being produced here in the city. Uh, and I play the lead character who's a psychotic killer. So a character, an actor, has to be very empathetic, would you agree? Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So if I'm playing someone who is a crook, a thief, a murderer, am I, am I supposed to hate that person? No, you yeah. can't. 
I don't hate myself, right? <laughs> of course. So uh, there's that love. You always have to find out where the love is. Where the I've been actually uh, coaching and training actors here in the city for the last 20 years and doing plays here in the city uh, with other groups. Uh, but we decided to form the Actors Loft based upon the uh, the opportunity that's come at hand. But also. Uh, I've always actually been looking in the last five years for a great location, and, and sure enough, we found a great location. And producer, can you leave your head? I'm Hugh you Gall, and this is the Actors Loft, where I run out of when we're doing plays. And there we go. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming today. See how they act and how they speak? Oh, who am I kidding? It only makes things worse. Beauty is not for everybody. They would go to work and from work each day they would, would watch that fence and they would see all those flowers behind it, jailed and haunted. Yeah. You wanted me to spend more time with her, pay attention to her, play with her and be a friend. But every time I have to be a parent and discipline her for anything, you jump all over my ass. And uh, You want to make the best possible product and you want to display the, the greatest talent that you have, that the people that are around you have. Uh, and I believe that, you know, at the end of the day, you got to look at yourself after you've uh, produced a film or produced a play and say, did I give it my best? Well, I watched Carlos numerous times plying his trade. I'd call the police. No one did anything. Nothing. Then I realized they weren't going to do anything. Hey, girl. Stand up. You feel like standing up? Stand up. I prayed and prayed and prayed. You know, Mr. Daniels, being a nun is seen as such a limited life. But wearing this habit freed me in a way I never truly understood until that moment. I confronted Carlos. That's great, I have. That's great. Thank you so much. That was very good. Nice. Oh. Oh. We're just going to get your picture in it. Well, so are you being trained anywhere right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that as an artist is what you want to do. You want to take a chance and you want to make sure that you kind of leave a mark. And so what I do like about it is that everybody shared a story. Could they be stronger? Sure. Will they get stronger? Sure. Um, do we keep working those type of things? Yeah. Now the reason behind the storytelling is not only just making those words your own, because everybody here that told the story, remember that story was not yours. Yet when you told the story, it came to life for everybody that was in the room. Especially for you, because you were living it. So that's also a big thing. That, that's the first thing. Once you've made those words yours, they're yours. They're, you're alive. There's no, you know, once you start speaking them, those are your words, right? They're coming out of your, your mouth.